Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, September 10th, 2020. So yesterday, wow, my goodness, what a rally we had yesterday with the Dow pushing up 600 and over 680 points at one point in time, only to see those bears come back in right at the close, pushing us down more than 230 points in the last 30 minutes. So how are we setting up this morning? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, buckle up and get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning we have kind of an interesting setup here with the futures struggling. Um, as a matter of fact, um, yesterday at the close, I'm gonna go to a quick um, intraday chart here. This is the, the um, market yesterday. This was our open, our rally. In the last 30 minutes of the day, the uh, Dow itself dropped uh, 230 points um in the last 30 minutes of the day pushing pretty strong and after that we kind of saw futures staying a bit bearish overnight and this morning ahead of um, earnings reports and economic news the futures are struggling a bit this morning pushing back down so right now we're looking at a dow that is likely to open about 150 points down but it's been fluctuating a lot and is likely con to continue fluctuating significantly um, over the next hour or so as we uh, digest all of the data uh, prior to the market open so kind of keep that in mind we could have anything occur now let's take a look at the chart itself and let's take a look at those technicals what's interesting in the chart is if I draw a trend line up here we really haven't broken any significant technicals in the chart we're still holding trend However, we did have that little break of some price support. So that is a little technical damage um, right there, just breaking that little price support. But so far, nothing significant um, has really occurred. We were just very overextended and pulled back. Of course, anytime we have a market that has the capacity to move 680 points in a single day we know there is significant volatility which adds tremendous risk to anyone trying to trade this market and we should all take note of that and be very very careful with how we enter or trade in a market that has so much price volatility and truly tremendous uncertainty um, in that price action. Now, if we look at the technicals, um, moving averages and things like that of the, of the chart, we did hold on this um, orange line here is a 34 exponential moving average. And so far, we've recovered that and we're trying to hold at that 34 exponential. But I gotta tell you guys, it seems to me like there is a pretty substantial likelihood that in the days forward, we could test that 50 day moving average. That's a pretty normal uh, price action move um, to, to occur that we, when we pull back, we test that 50 day. Now we still have, if I go to the Dow and just measure from where we closed yesterday, let me see if I can get that closer. Right about, ah, right about here, um, we've still got about 750 points to the downside just to reach that 50-day moving average. And I think the likelihood that that could occur is relatively high. So please keep that in mind that there, we still may see the danger of a pullback in this market and a bit more of price action uh, damage, but really no technical damage um, in the charts. Let's take a look at the SPY and notice that the SPY also could pull back to that 50 day moving average. And once again, it doesn't create any technical damage in the chart, but it does create a little bit of price action damage. 
in that chart. So let's watch that carefully as we struggle along here trying to decide which way this is going to go. And we should expect considerable volatility to continue. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Everyone's wondering, will the tech sell-off continue? Um, we did touch that 50-day moving average here on um, the NASDAQ. So that was a substantial pullback into that 50-day moving average, and it's trying to hold up in here. But there still is, if the Dow and the SPY continue that push down toward that 50-day, there is still that possibility of that pullback and maybe even a break of that 50-day moving average. So watch this closely um, in the market. We we could get news that pushes us either direction. As a matter of fact, since I have begun talking, the Dow futures have gone from about 140 points down to 180 points down. We're looking at 40 point swings in just moments um, in the market. That's showing us that uncertainty and it's giving us um, that very challenging market uh, for a, a, a average, the average trader to trade. It's very dangerous, so be quite careful. Let's take a look at IWM. Interestingly enough, IWM really didn't have much reaction yesterday. Um, it didn't really rally. It didn't really sell off. It just kind of set around. Um, all of the price action was in the other three indexes. Kind of interesting, and IWM is holding up relatively strong overall. We still um, hold on to this current trend. We're holding right along that 50-day moving average and the 500-day moving average providing a little bit of support. But then we have the complication of this is the only index that was not able to make new highs. Um, and as you can see, we've got a bit of a double top problem here. So any rally back up into some price resistance in that chart would be a bit of a concern if those bears take over. We could push down pretty quickly, pretty easily. So watch that carefully. Um, IWM just didn't really participate yesterday. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX is quite interesting in that we pulled back strongly yesterday, but we ended up holding right here at the 200-day moving average. Now I gotta tell you, moving averages on the VIX, uh, it's questionable. Um, VIX is a funny animal. It can uh, completely disrespect uh, most technical indicators. But if we take a look at um, the actual price action in here, breaking that downtrend is significant and holding that downtrend as support is significant. And if we take a look, I'm gonna put some drawings on here. Take a look, we do have a price support level. If you pull this chart back, notice all of this price action right through here, creating that little bit of a price support level in that chart. So if we were to pull back into here, holding some of that price or holding this level, low, we still have that upside opportunity that could exist here. So let's watch that carefully in the chart. Another thing that is a little bit of a concern for me is if we look at T2101, notice that we rallied strongly when the mark on T21, the absolute market breadth, rallied strongly in the sell-off, but notice when we started buying yesterday, 680 points in the Dow and our market breadth actually struggled here to maintain. So we're running against this downtrend line here in T2101. We'll wanna watch that closely. I can't tell you that that means that we're bullish or bearish, but just an interesting situation where we just can't seem to get a whole lot of momentum when we're trying to move up in the market. Let's take a look at T2122, which is that four week new high, new low ratio. And although we did bounce significantly, significantly yesterday in the market, um, 
all that really did was open up that opportunity that we could swing back lower. So we could still reach down here into this oversold area in the market and the futures uh, pointing that direction, at least at the moment, would suggest maybe the possibility of more pressure. However, we still have plenty of upside room that we could move and it would not be at all uncommon for a rally to carry us up past this 50% area here in T2122. So there's plenty of upside opportunity here in this market as well if the market can find that inspiration and those bears don't come back around uh, for another attack so watch that closely we've kind of we could go either direction here and t2122 isn't giving us a directional uh pick here right now just that we do have an opening for both sides let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and we do have a significant number of things to um, potentially move the market around on our economic calendar. If we take a look here, you can see we've got jobless claims coming out at 8.30 this morning. Now, they are expecting a modest improvement in claims um, in the consensus, but let's remember there was quite a little bit of news at the end of last week about airlines planning layoffs or uh, furloughing folks that might increase that number. So if that number comes in better than expected, we could see the market really uh, pick up on that. If it comes in worse than expected, that might be a problem for us. Also, we've got the PPI number, and that is looking for um, a little bit of a decline from the last reading, however, remaining positive. So keep an eye on those two numbers before the market open. That could move us around quite a bit. Notice we have natural gas not expected to move the market, but the oil status report could have some market effects. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, obviously, oil has been struggling a lot if we were to see a build in those supplies that could continue to put pressure on those oil sectors. However, if we see a decline in supplies, um, that could perk us up in that area. So watch that close. Also notice that we've got a 20-year bond announcement and the Fed balance sheet um, um, that could move us around a bit today so keep a close eye on that on the earnings front we had about 22 companies reporting earnings today but not very many of those are particularly notable um, a few of those that i will um, cover this morning however that you might want to keep an eye on chwy chewy chewy.com this stock has been a uh, a coronavirus favorite as everyone's staying home buying their pet food online and as you can see has rallied up significantly and we'll want to watch this as this reports today could be a pretty substantial report uh, peloton is another big winner um, in uh, the corona market um, this thing this was literally made um, in the corona market. This was not looking too good until coronavirus started shutting down all the gyms and then people started buying up their equipment. So watch this closely. Um, um, Peloton has done extremely well. As a matter of fact, yesterday got some um, increases in price targets from um, um, a couple of uh, the major uh, rating companies out there so watch that and um, it'll be interesting to see how it reports this morning let's take a look we also have play Dave and Busters this this is one that could have some trouble um, in an earnings report just simply because Dave and Busters is a is a eatery and game playing place that everyone gets together so obviously they've probably been shut down a lot making that kind of a struggle so watch play as they report oracle will be our biggest tech that we'll be reporting today notice that oracle has struggled with a resistance level here for some time in the chart maybe that report can finally perk us up and get us moving here in oracle and last but not least uh zumz um will be reporting today i don't know if this one would really be considered particularly notable and make note that this is dealing with um a price resistance level that's relatively significant 
So um, watch for that report. Maybe that improves or um, uh, breaks above that resistance or actually reinforces that resistance in the chart. Watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, I've been getting a few of the training videos caught up here and posted on the website. So make sure, or most of the posted on YouTube. So make sure you check those out if you have an interest in those. And I also want to ask you that if you find some usefulness in these videos please do me a favor click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment helps us continue to grow the channel um, almost 900 videos on YouTube now um, remarkable so um, the collection continues to grow thank you so much for all of your help and support of this uh, channel you guys humble me every day so let's take a look at some stock setting up and remember that every time I bring up a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, they are merely a, um, a continuation of the education and the way that I look at charts. And you can um, certainly place these charts in a list, do your own due diligence, and decide whether or not these would be a correct um, play for you. Let's take a look at Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble had a pretty decent day yesterday. Notice that it was before the big sell-off, it was consolidating in this area right up here, holding in this level. And it continues to hold in that level. We bounced right back up here. We're hanging on in this area. P&G might be looking for a little bit of inspiration. This is a good divvy payer. It it's also in that consumer defensive sector. So when the market gets a little bit funky like this, there may be a little bit of a run to the run to safety in some of these consumer defensive stocks. That lends a little bit of support to this and that possibility that we should be watching for Procter & Gamble maybe to push on through to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Um, kind of an interesting chart. Costco had a good rally back yesterday. Um, and this has been um, a very, very strong uh, chart um, in the coronavirus um, uh, market. And as you can see, we've pulled back to a price support level, broke that support, rallied above. So what I'm going to be watching for in Costco, what I always watch for when a stock breaks a price support, I require that stock to rally and prove to hold that level as support. So we're getting a pullback this morning. We could see Costco kind of slip sideways here, pull back. But if we hold that support in there, we could resume that uptrend to the upside. That gives us that technically correct pattern of that higher low. So something to pay attention to and watch. Costco could come around. McDonald's held up quite well through this sell-off. And notice we still maintain a very nice trend here in McDonald's. If this could continue to hold in this area, and even with the pullback maybe this morning, sliding over here toward the trend, get that slide over here toward the trend, we may still catch that inspiration for an upside move. So keep a close eye on that. Another place that was interesting yesterday is in gold miners. Um, take a look at GOLD. Um, GOLD had a good day yesterday pushing up and gold seems to be showing some strength here. So keep a close eye on that. If that can break through this resistance um, to the upside, we have a little uptrend going on here and that possibility of this, this wedge being broken to the upside in continuation to the to move on up. Now, I wish I could say that gold and silver have the same bullish pattern in here, but we really don't. Um, gold and silver continues to struggle here just a little bit, moving in this downtrend, but we are holding a price support. So we should keep a close eye on gold and silver. That possibility that we may soon break this wedge either to the upside or the downside. Right now with the market being so um, rough, I kind of favor the upside potential on that trade. So watch, um, watch that carefully. 
Um, you might also want to take a look at some of the financial stocks. Financials, we're going to need those financials if we're going to hold up and rally in the market. And notice that yesterday we had a bit of an attempt. There was a little bit of bullishness that came in for a while in on um, the financials. And although we're struggling in a relatively negative pattern here, if we can continue to hold in here, we want to watch for those to maybe start perking up however if they fail here that could be um, that could be one of the last nails in the coffin for the market if we really start failing um, in those financials so watch that closely this could have some important clues uh, for the market ahead we also want to take a look at some of those defensive sector stocks take a look at Altria now I do hold Altria and um, I'm so I may have have a, a bit of a bias on this just to uh, give you guys a full heads up but I'm watching this Altria in here kind of hang in this is a nice divvy pair look at the big divvy um, uh, annual um, on this and it's holding in this consolidation move let's watch and see if that can push on out and it's the same kind of thing that I'm watching in like coca-cola coca-cola hanging in there we've got this little rally going on in here we've broken through some support or some resistance in the chart we're trying to hold it as support and we're trying to show a little tiny bit of bullishness here um, in that chart. So watch um, some of those defensive sector companies, dividend payers, things like um, Verizon. Um, whoops, better get the right ticker here. Things like Verizon holding up quite nicely as you can see here in the chart and breaking through some resistance levels, holding up these big divvy payers um, and maybe starting to pick up a little bit of energy um, as the market looks for a little bit of safety. So watch those carefully. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks for watching and thanks for being here. Please click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments, and if you're not a subscriber, please click that subscribe button. Y'all take care, have a great day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day.